I'm Roy Potter, a former U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel. Welcome to the Potter Expositor. Hi ladies and gentlemen, today is February 8th, 2018. I'm Roy Potter. Welcome to the Potter Expositor. Notice I'm wearing blue, white, and red, or I should say red, white, and blue. And I'm doing that on purpose. It's, it's part of the message. I hope you all paid attention to the opening scenes of the video. There were some important ones in there that I wanted you to see. And the most, probably the one I want to cover the most right now is the one of the Q information, the intel drop, where we were told that the Secret Service is on high alert. We've known this for a long time, and there are other sources that I got this. It's not just from that Q listening. But I wanted to bring it up because that shows you the situation that we're in. The deep state, the new world order, they know they're being ex exposed, and exposure is the greatest danger that will keep them from accomplishing their purposes. Unfortunately, they have recruited people for a very long time to infiltrate all aspects of our institutions, all levels, all degrees. And I don't want to get too specific, but I'll just say it like this. Those who are there for pay, for pension, or even for the evil purpose of helping to overthrow the Constitutional Republic of the United States. If you're there for any of those reasons without the principle of protecting the Constitutional Republic of the United States, honoring your oath of office, supporting this second American rev revolution to take back our Constitutional Republic, then there's an old saying that applies to you. And it is that if you work for money, you work for your own destruction. In other words, you work for the money, but not principle. A laborer is worthy of his hire. You deserve to have remuneration for your services. That's how we work. But when the objective becomes that money in opposition to the principles of the Second American Revolution, the Constitutional Republic of the United States of America, and the perfect law of liberty, you're on the wrong side. I don't care if you're InfraGuard, CIA, FBI, DOD, <laughs> or even the local police department. It's time to make a decision here. And this threat on President Trump and all of those who support what he stands for, which is, of course, what you want to do. You want to put all of us away. You're going to have to remember that we're not here because of pay, because of a pension. We're here for the principle of standing for God, family, and country. And the country isn't the union of Soviet socialist republics of America. It's for the constitutional republic of the United States of America. And the second American Revolution, as I've said, that is trying to restore it. So it's just a warning. You have a lot of us out here that aren't going to stand for this if you do these things. It's time to admit that you chose the wrong side 
Do I think that you will stop? No. But it's time to call you to repentance once more. For all of you out there who sacrifice of your time, your energy, your resources, your fortunes, even your lives, to stand for the perfect law of liberty, the second American Revolution, and the restoration of the Constitutional Republic of the United States of America. May God bless you and all of yours. May God bless the Constitutional Republic of the United States of America. And may God bless President Trump in all of his righteous endeavors. Out here until later. <laughs>